Hello you guys, so we're going to be reviewing Stella Monroe. I tried recording this video once, but I recorded it without sounds, mistakes happen. Um, but we're not quitters, we don't give up, so we're going to be trying it again. Now I have Brianna Dulce modeling one of Stella Monroe's outfit. I also have Daria out to compare some of our pink haired beauties. Um, now, Brianna Dulce came with two outfits and a sleeping bag with a little pillow. Stella Monroe came with two outfits. Um, the, I noticed a lot of similarities between Stella Monroe's outfits and like Violet Willow's. And I'm going to get Violet Willow out to show you guys. Violet has this sequined dress underneath her big puffy furry jacket um her jacket looks very nice um mine it, mine looks like it's gathering dust <laughs> um to put it politely my mine looks like it's a a bad rug at this point because it needs to be like floofed or something i don't know mine looks like mine looks like it's getting a little dusty um but regardless uh she kind of comes with this beautiful fur jacket, and you can see the sequence on her dress. Now, Stella Monroe's first outfit includes this um, fur pink jacket. It just reminds me of Violet Willows. She does come with this like short sleeved crop top. It's very satiny. Um, she has a stand and a brush she comes with, uh, I believe, I think, I she might have been one that I don't know if I got the brush for her or not, because um, I, I can't remember, but I, I, sh I believe she does. Um, if she doesn't, correct me kindly in the comments if you didn't get a brush with yours, because I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I unboxed her. She has this pink eyeshadow and these bubblegum pink lips with some very blue eyes. Her hair is more of a hot pink. Um, she has this white skirt with a little pink cutout showing through um, and this these little beads and then she has these fishnet socks and some pink and gold shoes really completing her look. Now, I have Brianna Dulce wearing her second outfit, um, and I believe her second shoes, um, I believe, I believe, I believe, what's that song by Journey? I believe I can fly, touch the sky. Yes, I have Brianna Dulce wearing her second shoes, um, now the socks that Brianna Dulce is wearing came with Brianna Dulce. Her earrings came with Brianna. These earrings came with Brianna Dulce as well. She's got these pink and gold earrings. Um, but the shoes, these pink and gold shoes that are both hot pink and light pink came with Stella Monroe. This skirt, which is somewhat high-waisted with sequins, came with Stella Monroe. Um this little uh, fishnet crop top also came with Stella Monroe. It's gold. It's like very white. And then there's this pink satin crop top. Um, they are separate, Stella Monroe's uh, skirt and this top. Um, it's like a satin top with some lace detailing and some spaghetti, some pretty thick spaghetti strap. Um, uh, straps. And uh, she's very pretty, um, but the dress reminds me with the sequins, brings like Violet Willow vibes to me. Um, I don't know why, like they're the top part of the outfit doesn't have sequins and it's more flowy than Violet's but I think just the fact that her outfit has 
She has an outfit that includes sequins and a fur coat. Really just, just reminds me all the way, like I said, of Violet Willow. Um, now, I feel like I'm more of a fan given Brianna Dulce, she was like $25 more, um, or like 30 to 30 to 40, um, depending on when you got her, than Stella Monroe. Um, she was a Walmart exclusive. Um, I did a review on her, and I did a review on Miss Daria here. Um, but one of the things that I personally like, if I was going to choose one, I like the freckles on Brianna Dulce. Um, now, Stella Monroe does have this cute beauty mark near the corner of her lip, and she's a beautiful doll. Her hair isn't, like, super thin. It's not the thickest hair I've seen out of Rainbow High, and it does feel like there's some gel. Now, that gel is easy to get all out if you wash the doll's hair and brush it. Mine feels kind of stiff. Um, I was super excited when I got her. I like her two little ponytails that she has with the hair, long hair in the back, kind of. It reminds me of, I want to say Ariana Grande, but I, I don't think that's it. Um, goodness, I can't remember which celebrity. It reminds me of, do, 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 well, I don't know if it is Ariana Grande who I'm thinking of. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. And now I'm like Googling uh, celebrity hairstyles just to figure out which celebrity it reminds me of. No, she's got like the ponytail that goes in the back with the long hair to the sides. She doesn't have the side ponytails that I can see. Not sure what that hairstyle is called. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of this particular celebrity who I was going to say her hairstyle reminded me of. And now I can't remember, even after Googling it. Um, her hair does kind of give me, Brianna Dulce's hair does kind of give me, give me like Ariana. Ariana Grande vibes. Um, Brianna Dulce is made to be like a Latino, um, I believe. Um, she's got these, like I said, I love her freckles. I love everything about Brianna Dulce. I think if I had to choose between her and Stella Monroe, I would save up and get Brianna Dulce over Stella Monroe. I like the light pink hair better. However, I like having Stella Monroe to mix and match her clothes with Brianna Dulce um, because that dress looks stunning on Brianna Dulce. Um, so there is that. Um, I like that the girls can easily mix and match their hair. I feel like there's enough dolls in this line that are pink colors that it makes it much easier to mix and match clothes. Um, like I've got three lined up right here that are pink themed. Um, although I will say Daria's kind of pink. She's got some black in there too with some green. Um, 
Yeah, they do excellent on these dolls, just in general. Um, there's also enough orange kind of dolls, I feel like. Um, I would love to see just more colors in general um, for them to do um, to mix and match clothes and things. Uh, but I was very, very pleased with Stella Monroe when I got her. I feel like her clothes... I would get Rihanna Dulce personally over Stella Monroe um, simply because I feel like her outfits remind me so much of Violet that if you already have Violet and you want a pink doll, I would just go straight for Rihanna Dulce. Um, just save up the money um, because like I said, her, her outfit, like her second outfit in this fur coat, that's what they remind me of the, it's beautiful detailing on her fur coat like I feel like hers fur coat is better done than Violet's um or maybe it's just because mine is dusty um but let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments which doll is your favorite out of our pink girls um there is Carmen Major who's like a pink and rainbow kind of mix who I have have to review um but yeah if it were you and you were doing a versus um kind of thing with Stella Monroe and Rihanna Dulce which doll would you buy if you could only get one um I personally would definitely go with Rihanna Dulce I feel like her hair is thicker she's got so many detailing her eyes to me are just perfect like with the pink and the purple something about her just strikes me as very unique um and she looks like she's got more a lot of sass um Stella Monroe looks more like she'd be like a, a diva carrying her little chihuahua if we were she'd be carrying her little chihuahua with her little fur coat um I feel like my style is more comfy, cozy, and I like that Brianna Dolce shares that style. I like the slippers. I like the gold and the pink. Um, personally, I feel Brianna Dolce is better, but I do also love Stella Monroe. This is by no means a bad review. I am by no means hating on Stella Monroe. Like, she is gorgeous in her own right. She is a queen and a diva in her own right. Um... I love her pretty blue eyes. That is my favorite thing about her, is her blue eyes. Um, I love her blue eyes. I love that she is that very hot pink. Well, um, Brianna Dulce is more of a light pink. Um, and that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to check out um, Stella Monroe and hearing my thoughts on her. I didn't notice any like loose threads or anything with her. Um, I will say with Brianna Dulce, when you go to, like, get her jacket so you could wear it as a separate, you have to be very careful because you will get, like, little holes where the, uh, little pieces of plastics are. The little, uh, I don't know what they're called. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know, the little plastic uh, snippets, tags, the, the, the things that you usually snip. Um, if y'all know what they're called in the comments, let me know. Help me out this video. It is like 9.52 at night. I am recording this late to get this up for you guys early tomorrow. Um, I, but yeah, I noticed that it does leave little holes in Brianna Dulce, which made me a little upset because... She is a $50 doll. Like, they're not very noticeable. And I notice other people in the doll groups saying the same thing. Um, so that is a downside. Um, they're not super noticeable. So it's... And I'm sure over time they'll, like, go away. Kind of shrink or whatever. Um, I, I saw somebody said if you, like, steam them, they shrink. Uh, I haven't tried it. <laughs> So, so don't go taking that advice because I have not tried it. Um, yeah, and so th that is another reason I, uh, I put her in 
Stella Monroe's outfit is that her second outfit had those little holes and they're near like her top area. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did notice that later on after I'd done my review and I wanted to let you guys know and see if you guys had the same issue with Brianna Dulce's clothes. Um, Brianna Dulce's clothes are like little sweatpants suit and she's got these little shorts that she sleeps in and a t-shirt. I like, I prefer that style um, over like the big fur coat. Like I like that too. I can be extra too. Um, but I just prefer like that she likes her comfort um, and I like her little slipper. She's just very cutesy. Um, so yeah, I, it's hard to pick a favorite for me, but I would say it would be Brianna Dulce over um, Stella Monroe. So tell me in your comments your favorite pink rainbow high while I wrap this up. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. And I hope tomorrow's a good day for you. Bye, y'all.